hi welcome back to my youtube tutorial this is abn graphics yes on this particular on this particular tutorial we are going to learn how to design political flyer or elections flyer in photoshop yes as you know 2024 is just approaching and as uh, 2024 is just approaching i think a whole lot of people will want you to, to design a political flyer for them both for candidates executive and pool pa all that you get that yes so on this particular tutorial we are going to learn how to design political flyer in photoshop so let's just go to our photoshop just like this and let's get it done first of all you have to create a document and that you would like to use either a4 a3 or any size that you wish to use in this particular uh, distance so if you are asked to use a4 you use a4 if you are asked to use a6 or any kind of this thing you can use it you get that but in the printing side when you use a4 you can use it to print a3 you can use it to print a5 and a6 you get that yes so on this particular distance what we need to do over here here is that I am just going to create this tunnel with um, this particular this thing which is a uh, Photoshop default size just like that but for this one I just want it to be I just want it to be just like that okay yes so what I need to do over here is that after creating my document just like that I'm just going to tilt it up so that I will have it in a portrait form so when I have it in the portrait form just like that that's beautiful so the first thing I'm going to do is to create my background so I'm just going to file then I come to place a link and I have a, a, a sources file that I'm going to use for this particular design. So I have something like that election over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to pick up this particular background over here and then I'll import it in. When it imported, all what I need to do is to just make some changes to it then we move to the next step. You get that. Yes, now we have it just like that and then I'm just going to uh, transform it a little bit so that it will go up just like that you get that and i can have it just like this and then what i need to do is to hold shift so that i can just move it to somewhere like this and i can move this one to, to somewhere like this because i want that wrapping this thing to appear over there and i'll just push it to the top just like that then i can have it just like that okay yes so i'm waiting for the transformation to done and then when the transformation is done i'm just going to right click and restart the layer and then i'll go to fx and i'll go to color over there i just want to change the white color to certain different color over there you get that so i'm just going to make the color uh somehow uh, ndc color that's a uh, uh, blue uh, sorry green so i just want some kind of green over there just like that and then i'll change the blending mode to multiply so that that particular distance will come out very very well so let me see i'll have it just like that and then i can have it uh just like this it's okay for me and then i'm just going to click okay and then when this way is done the next thing i'm going to do is to just uh, uh duplicate this layer and then that particular layer the down layer over here i'm just going to move it to the down here and then i'm going to change the color over there to the same uh, color which is uh red that kind of red which this thing over here but what i need to do over here is that i just want to have something like this over there uh not that big just like that and then i'm going to make the color uh white i can make I, i'm just with, want to have it like white over there just like that and then i'll let it be somewhere here and then the next thing i'm going thing i'm going to do over there is that i'll just have it just like that and then i'll just tilt it by moving it this way uh not that bigger i just wanted to tilt it this way okay i think this way is okay for me and i can have it just like that and i'll move this one a little bit over here and then that will be okay the next thing i'm going to do over this but i'm going to move it to the top and when i move it to the top i'll move this one somewhere here and then what i need to do is to hold control and drag this into the this line and, and hold this place and drag it to this so that i'll have it just like that this finish technique is very good then i can have it just like that as you can see you get that so all this will be the background and then i'll have it just like that and then that's my bg so the next thing again i'm going to do is to go to my file and then place a link and over there i'm going to pick up this particular this particular image of the person over there then i'll have it just like that and then the next thing again i'm going to do is to just let it be somewhere here and then i'll just transform it a little bit okay then i can have it just like that all right and then i'll right click and rasterize it so that i won't have to 
get more stress on doing that after importing in my image just like that what i need to do again over here is that i'm just going to have something like this over there and then i'm just going to pick a ellipse tool or circle tool then i can have something like this over here you get that yes and then when i have something like this over there i'm just going to add a gradient to that and this particular gradient uh, will also go along with the, the ndc uh, color or any kind of color that that come that is combination of uh, that particular distance so let me have black over there ah. yes and then when i have black over there i'm just going to change the font here uh, the, the color over there to the same ndc color over there just like that and then the scale i'll make it 150 then i can have it just like that and then over there i'm just going to move it somewhere here and then i'm just going to write hopefully there hopefully hopefully 2024 20, just like that over there and then i'm just going to decrease the size a little bit to somewhere here and then i'll make it somewhere just like that and then i'll try and change the font to uh, w uh, t uh, t w cent month then i can have it just like that and i'm going to increase the size a little bit and then i'm going to make it uh, bold and then what i need to do over here is that i am just going to change the color to white and then when I change the color to white, what I need to do over there is that I'm just going to increase the 2024 over there a little bit. Then so that can have it just like that. And then I'm just going to let it be somewhere close to each other. Not that big, but this way, I think this way would be okay. And then I can have it just like that. And then I'll have it just like that. And then I'll just have it somewhere like this over there. You get that? Yes. And then I'll just uh, have it this way. And then I'll just group it together. And I'm just going to call it one for now. So I'll just put, let it be somewhere here. The next thing again I'm going to do is to pick a, a rectangular tool. And then I'll just draw something like this over there. Not that big, not that distant. And then I'll just try and make it the color white. Just like that. And the next thing again I'm going to do is to pick my text tool. Then I'll write foot over there. And then I'll change the color to the same color of the background over here. And then I'll let it be somewhere here. You get that? Yes. And then I'm going to change the font to the asked contents over there. And then I'm just going to make it bolder. Just like that. And then I'll try and increase my distance a little bit then i can have it just like that okay and the next thing again i'm going to do is to pick up this the same thing over there and then i'll let that one be somewhere here and then that one should be in line with this one that this one should be in line so i'm just going to pick my distance and as you can see the next thing again i'm going to do is to pick the name zakaria isa yes and then i'm just going to paste it somewhere here just like that okay i'm just going to paste it somewhere like that why it's just not copied copy and then i'm just going to paste it i'm just going to paste it uh just like that i'm selecting all i'm just going to paste it just like that okay so let me move it to the top over there and then let me try and reduce the size a little bit so that i can do my piston very well okay so i just i can just paste it over there let me just use my text tool and paste it okay and then i'm just going to delete this one away because i don't need it and i'll have it just like that and the next thing again i'm going to do is to make it somehow bolder it should be a little bit bolder just like that and then i'm just going to increase the shape over there increase the shape over there so that that one will be somehow bigger you get that yes and i can have it just like that and then on this one the the font i'll just try and let it be somehow uh, wide up the the waist the those centers there the near waist over there just make it somehow wide up and then this one i'll try and increase it a little bit uh let me say 40 okay so i think 40 will be okay 
and then the widen up i'll increase it a little bit so that i'll have some space there you get that then i can have it just like that okay yes and then let me save my work so that i don't have any problem through the distance yes okay so the next thing again i'm going to do is to come and pick up tamale north constituency i'll just pick up that one too and then that one i'll just come and paste it somewhere here and then with that one i'm just going to change the color to white so just look at how the composition that is how the composition is going on and then i'll just have it just like that over there you get that yes and then that one i'm going i'm going to use a uh, poppins there poppins there okay poppins semi boot yes and then i'll try and reduce the size a little bit so that it will match up with this one without much problem and the next thing again i'm going to do is to just uh copy it uh, hold alt and then i'll just move it to the top a little bit as you see this way and the next thing again i'm going to do over there is that i'm going to pick this particular destiny over here and then when that is picked i'm just going to uh have something like this over there that is where the motto is going to be paste on then i can have it just like that you heard that yes and then over this particular this one i'm just going to make it come somewhere here and then i'll make the distance white over there and then when that is done i'm just going to move this one to somewhere here and then i'll try and reduce the size a little bit to somewhere 14 and that will be okay for me you get that yes and the next thing again i'm going to do over there is that uh I'm just going to make the color white because I don't black too is part of NDC color but I just wanted to make it this uh, white there so that I don't have um, more colors over there just try and use some kind of two colors three to three colors over there then I can have it just like that you get that so the next thing again I'm going to do is to come and pick up uh, the parliamentary candidate over here and then I'm just going to paste that one to, to somewhere here. Sorry, I think that one has not copied. Copy, copy, okay. So I'm just going to paste it over there and then I can have it just like that. You get that. So the next thing again I'm going to do is to break the parliamentary candidate over there. And then when that is bricked, I'm just going to uh, increase the size a little bit. So that that one will be somehow bigger and then i'll try and let it uh match up with this one but the next thing again i'm going to do over there is that i'm just going to increase the candidate over here so that i'll have it in a way that i'll have it in the way that this one will uh, catch up a little bit with this one so that i can have it let's say let me have it somewhere 40 okay somewhere 40 and then the parliamentary i'll just try and make it somewhere lower you know that one shouldn't be that big but let me try and make the widen up so that i can easily understand what i'm doing so i can have something like this over there and then this one i'm just going to increase the size a little bit so that it won't be that bigger just want to have it just like that i think this one is okay and then i can have it just like that and then the next thing again I'm going to do is that I'm just going to put up um, the center should be completed. Vote Zakaria, uh, Zakaria Issa as, Tam, as Tamil North constituency parliamentary candidate. Okay. So I'll just have it, I'll let somewhere, I'll just place it somewhere here. And then I'll try and make this one color white again over there and then um i'm just going to close up this thing over here so that i can work around this place so the next thing again over here i'm going to do is to just pull up this one on top a little bit just like that and then vote zachary is uh, as uh, parliamentary as as parliamentary candidate for Tamil North constituency 
but what I need to do over here is that I just want to make the this thing like vote Zakaria is a uh, as Tamil North constituency parliamentary candidate we get that so I'm just going to move this one somewhere here and then I'll let this one be somewhere here just like that and then I'll just pull I'll just give up a, a square box like that over there you have that and then I'll just move it to the top a little bit and then I'll have it just like that okay so over there I'm just going to try and make it um, this particular same color which is uh, white and then I'll try and reduce the size a little bit uh, somehow down it shouldn't be that bigger then I can have it just like that then I'll have it just like that and then I'll have it just like that and then I'll hold it up then that one should be should be somewhere here you get that and then this one should be here and the next thing again again I'm going to do over here is that I'm just going to pick select all of them just like that um okay I think this one is not part so this one I'm just going to take it off and I group it and I call it moto so that one is not part so I'm just going to pick up from us to this okay just like that and then I'll click control T and then I'll right click and skew it and then the skewing I'm just going to skew it just like that and let this one go this way and let this one to go that way and let this one come somewhere here and that looks cool then I can have it just like that over there and then let me honor up this particular place and then I'll just try and move it to somewhere here that look cool for me and then i'll group all of this as one over there just like that and then i'll have it just like that so the last thing that i'm going to do is i'm just going to bring the the ndc logo which is this and then i'll just try and place it uh somewhere there without any uh, struggler so I just wanted to come somewhere here so I'll give it a color but if not it will appear very well for me over there so I'm just going to give it a color of white just like that all right and then I'll let it become somewhere here and then should be in the middle of there then I can have it just like that and then we can have it just like yes so that is how um, parliamentary candidate flyer or political flyer is designed with ABN graphics and then after that all what you need to do is to check around and pull off uh, anything that you need let me check it around thank you very much for watching this is ABN graphics and have a nice day bye bye